Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a reading for Scorpio. We are going to be looking at how are you stepping into 2022. These are your January messages, Scorpio. So I will be pulling overall energy, spiritual energy, love, as well as career messages. Remember this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate. Take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So let's jump right into it, Scorpio, and we're going to pull some overall energy for you. So Spirit, what is going to be Scorpio's overall energy for January 2022? Messages for Scorpio. Okay, I have Fourth Chakra, Archangel Raphael in the reverse. Let's get another message. I have Renewal, Reflection, Self-Evaluation, Rebirth. Let's get another one. Okay, Spirit gave me two more. Page of Earth, studious, prepared, cheerful. King of Water, compassionate, understanding, trustworthy. And let's get one more. forgiveness okay Scorpio this is going to be about you healing this is going to be about you healing in the new year with this four chakra in the reverse and then renewal and I have the king of water this is a renewal when it comes to your emotional body you finally being able to let go and release to heal from things of the past, to heal from things that didn't work out, to heal from a past relationship, our upset, disappointment. You're finally going to be able to heal, let go, and forgive. I feel like with this page of earth, this is you, Scorpio. It's like you're ready. You're ready for a new beginning. You're ready for a new chapter in your life. It's like you are ready to be successful, to be abundant. And to stop letting things weigh you down. This is going to be a completely new beginning for you. A renewal of your emotional body. A rebirth. A transformation. When it comes to your healing. You're going to have a new perspective. A new mindset. And you're going to be ready to just move forward. And have this new beginning. So let's look at your spiritual energy. Spirit, tell me about Scorpio's spiritual energy for the month. Look at what I have endings. You're going to be letting go. This is going to be about you releasing, closing out cycles, closing out chapters in your life. Let's get some more messages for your spiritual energy. Spiritual energy. Tell me more about endings. I heard walk away. For some of you, you're going to be walking away. I have relationship. I call in the infinite power of love to take over this union in every way. May I not fully belong to the divine. Let it unfold in the perfect way for each of us. I need and fear letting go of control. My needs are always abundantly met. Relationship. For some of you, this is going to be you walking away, ending a relationship, ending a connection in the beginning of the year. And formulating a better connection with yourself. Healing. I heard doing shadow work for some of you. 
I have self-acceptance. Nothing is more exhausting than endlessly working on yourself. When you offer your whole being fully to love, self-acceptance arises spontaneously. May I rest in our oneness, dear divine. Exactly. This is going to be about you walking away, closing out cycles, forgiving, and working on you. Creating a relationship with yourself. Learning how to value yourself, appreciate yourself. Um, and I'm just getting, for some of you, it's like you're just going to have this new lease on life. Let's pull some more energy. Spirit, give me some more messages for Scorpio's spiritual energy. I have the King of Pentacles. Let's get another message. And I have the Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, this is going to be you feeling abundant, you being happy, despite what didn't work out. Despite what you didn't get. Despite the opportunities that you feel like you missed out on. Despite the opportunities, the opportunities that you felt or where you felt you were looked over. It's like this is you just being abundant anyway. This is about mindset. I'm happy anyway. I'm abundant anyway. I'm prosperous anyway, despite what I didn't get, despite what didn't work out, despite what opportunities didn't come to me. Self-acceptance. I'm good enough. This is you recognizing that you're good enough despite what didn't work out in your favor. It's like for some of you, because you didn't get certain things in life, because people treated you a certain way, you held that within, like you took on their energy and it made you feel like it was something wrong with you when it wasn't just because you didn't get an opportunity, just because you were passed over, you were looked over. It doesn't make you any less of a person. And this is you ending that mindset and really learning to love yourself, learning to heal. So let's get some messages for your love life, said Scorpio. Spirit, give me some love messages for Scorpio. Stuck in the past. Someone is stuck in the past. Okay. Scorpio Spirit wants to give me a lot of messages for you. I have lying. Someone is lying. I have new news, seeing things from a higher perspective. I have behind the scenes. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. Things are happening that you can't see and balance. A situation needs more balance. Stuck in the past, lying, a new view. For some of you, you're going to develop a different perspective when it comes to a relationship not working out. For some of you, again, healing. You've been holding on to something from the past that didn't work out. To someone who did you wrong. I heard who did you dirty. Like this has kept you stuck. And it's like you can't get over it. Or you've been having difficulty letting it go. Releasing. And in the month of January. You're going to have a newer perspective. A higher perspective on that situation. And again going back to. Self acceptance. This is you understanding that just because someone. May have treated you badly. Or may have not been real honest with you true to you it doesn't have any bearing on you that's that person and their issues so this is going to be about you learning how to release someone from your past and for some of you 
Spirit says like the relationship is already over. So this person is not with you physically, but they're still in your energy. So you're going to be releasing them energetically. And this is going to bring you more into balance with yourself, with your higher self. And for others of you, I'm getting that if you're in a connection, this person has been hiding, has been hiding the truth from you. I heard seeing other people, this person is involved with someone else and they've been hiding the fact that they're with someone else. I'm getting like a significant other. So this person is in another serious relationship. I'm also getting like the mother of their child or their children. I feel like with the stuck in the past, they keep going back and forth. They may have told you that it was over, but it's not. There's, they still go back and forth. I heard from time to time. So they still see each other from time to time. It's a lot that you don't know. That you don't see. That this person keeps hidden. So let's look at your career energy. Spirit, tell me about Scorpio's career energy for the month of January. I have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. All right, Scorpio. Let's get another message. I have the Hermit in the reverse. Let's get one more. Oh, okay. I have the Knight of Swords and I have the Eight of Wands. Good news. You're about to hear some good news. So for those of you who may have been struggling financially, you may have been having difficulty finding a job. January is going to be the month for you. It's like where you may have not been receiving any callbacks with this Hermit in the reverse. You're finally going to start hearing from companies where you have applied you're going to be at her interviews getting job offers yeah her like opportunities yes and it's like with this knight of swords you are going to be prepared to seize the moment like there's just going to be a lot of good energy coming towards you when it comes to your career and definitely you're coming out of an energy of lack and energy of struggle in the month of january and it's like things are really going to start to look up for you scorpio when it comes to your career let's clarify the messages spirit tell me about the five of pentacles in the reverse yep the seven of pentacles for some of you you may have lost your job you may have had to walk away from your job. I heard resign. You may have been forced to resign. But it's like you're coming out of that energy of lack. Spirit, tell me about the hermit in the reverse. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, yes. You are definitely getting ready. Wherever you have been experiencing stagnation, when it comes to your career, your finances, this is going to be a complete 180. Things are getting ready to shift to turn around for you. For you. I'm getting the song like it's raining men. But instead of raining men, Scorpio, it's going to be raining pentacles in the month of January. So it's like it's raining pentacles like you're going to be in the overflow, Scorpio. Let's get a message for the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I have the two of wands in the reverse. Yeah, for some of you with this two of wands, you were just in a period of just stagnation. Like things were just very stuck. Um, you didn't really know what was ahead of you. You didn't really have any hope. And this is like a complete shift in your energy in the month of January where it's like you're ready to just put yourself out there, seize the moment and embrace the opportunities that are coming towards you. Let's get a message for the Eight of Wands. Okay. Oh, the Two of Cups. Yes. Whatever good news is coming in, this is going to be a career that you love doing. Like the Two of Cups, this is going to be something that completely balances you when it comes to your stability. 
It's like this good news is like what you have been waiting to hear. Your spirit is saying like this is what you have been waiting for. For some of you, you may go into partnership. I heard alliance. You may go into partnership with someone in the month of January. But yes, I'm just hearing like good news is coming in when it comes to your career, Scorpio. So let's pull some final messages for you. So spirit, what overall message do you have for Scorpio? Okay. I have koi fish spirit. There's always enough. This was a test of your faith. When it came to the ending of a career, a job for you, where you was in an energy of lack, you didn't feel like you had enough, but it's like God will provide and God showed you that he will provide. There's always enough. There's always enough. God is on your side, Scorpio. Whatever difficulty, challenges that you have been faced with, God showed up in your life and showed you that he will put people in place for you. Spirit, God will put people in place in your life to help you, to assist you. I heard backing. God's spirit is your strong backing. God is there for you in times of struggle. There's always enough. Let's get another message. God is getting ready to make a believer out of you. That trouble don't last always. Life happens in seasons and you're getting ready to shift. You're getting ready to enter a season of goodness, of blessings. Prepare for the good news. Let's get another message. Armadillo spirit, setting help, set healthy boundaries. Again, going back to emotional healing. You are going to learn the importance of setting healthy boundaries. For some of you, you've already been learning this. You've already built boundaries to protect yourself, protect yourself emotionally, spiritually, energetically. It's like you have learned that you just cannot let people walk over you, that you just cannot let people mistreat you. You cannot let people project their insecurities on to you. It's like by you going through this healing process, this is creating in you an energy of love, a mindset of abundance, a mindset that you deserve more, that you can have more, and that you don't need to hold on to anything or anyone who doesn't see your worth or just value who you are, who doesn't value or appreciate the energy you bring, Scorpio. So these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.